Hey everyone and welcome to Counter Buzz. I'm Greg Rosink and I'm here today with Derek Chandler, a product manager here at Hunter Industries. Derek, what products do you manage here at Hunter? Yeah, so at Hunter Industries I manage all the battery controllers, the X-Core controller, and weather sensors. Okay, so we have some of them here in front of us today. Can you tell us a little bit more about each of these controllers? Yeah, so what you have in front of us is the Node and the XE Hybrid. These are battery controllers, but they have a solar accessory uh, compatibility component to them. With solar uh, controllers, are these all the controllers that we offer with solar power te technology? Yes, we have two uh, so, uh, solar controllers, one that goes in a valve box and one that gets mounted to a wall. The valve box is great because it limits vandalism and you don't see the controller, it lives in the valve box. And then the wall component also has a plastic and then a stainless uh, steel enclosure. Okay, it can be mounted on a, a pole. So you a... can mount this on a four foot pole and sweep and that's great for like parks, anywhere where you don't have a wall next to, to, uh, to mount the controller to. Great, that kind of leads me right into the next question. And what application would you install or specify this product? Yeah, so we see the XC Hybrid, uh, the silver one here, uh, specified for roundabouts, traffic medians, and those are sites where you don't have an AC power connection. Would you ever specify solar on smaller projects? Yeah, for the node, we see that specified for slopes, uh, maybe even roundabouts as well, greenhouses, grow houses, nurseries, that's great for the node. Do you have an example or a situation where you were working with a municipality or a specifier designer on putting this product in a specific scenario? Yes, our friends, uh, specifier friends in San Diego, uh, they frequently come to us and say, hey, what do you have that can complete my spec? They, uh, for one gentleman had a slope, needed uh, some valves connected, the node was perfect, lives in the valve box, but he also wanted to take it a step further and be more efficient, so he has the solar panel accessory hooks up to the node, and now he has maintenance free power, and then the whole site is efficient. So it sounds like there's a lot of benefits to this solar control option. Are there other benef benefits that you see from using solar controllers? Yeah, there's a lot of solar uh, power uh, uh, features and um, efficiencies, and that is it re reduces our carbon uh, pollution footprint also. It creates more jobs with uh, solar as well. It's just renewable energy, a lot of different uh, benefits to solar. Okay, so how is the controller actually using solar radiation or the sun to power the controller itself. So for the solar panel itself, it just needs to be installed uh, in full sunlight, but that's the, that's the key there. Full sunlight, it doesn't require sunlight every day to run. There's a solar charger pack inside, 1800 uh, milliamp hour in, uh, battery pack in there, and what that does is provide irrigation for maybe a couple days, four days, and it doesn't take, um, sun, it doesn't need sunlight to um, run every single day. Oh, so you kind of answered a question that I had for you, and that was, how does it run if there's no sun? So we're putting a battery in the controller that the panel's actually charging during the day in that full exposure or moderate exposure, but we really want to see a situation where it's in full sunlight exposure to really charge those batteries up good. Exactly, so that sunlight goes to the solar panel, that the energy is stored in a, in a battery pack here, and if the irrigation cycle is running or not running, it'll just take a trickle charge that solenoid whenever it needs to. And also, like I said, full sunlight can run in cloudy, in cloudy days, maybe even rain days, and if it's running in rain days, you actually want to install a mini click, a rain click, or a freeze click sensor. So both of these can take a sensor, wired sensor input, and we have three or four different models for that purpose. So actually, you just kind of touched on another point that I, I want to point out, and that's typically battery power controllers didn't have the ability to have sensors attached to them, but now as we've developed and we've grown with our solar technology, we're able to add those sensors that you mentioned, rain sensor, uh, yeah, what rain, yeah, sensors yeah, go rain sensors, uh, wind sensors, freeze sensors, and so our uh, great engineering teams here at Hunter Industries have developed these battery controllers to keep up with technology standards. And with that in mind, um, they actually kind of meet um, our AC counterparts. So you have pump master valve um, uh, feature as well on both the Node and the XC Hybrid. Uh, you have you can run multiple start times, you can run multiple programs, 
Uh, the run times on these it can be, are they're very efficient, can water a park, a large park, and it actually touches into the solenoid um, to valve length. So uh, for the XE Hybrid, we can go up to 2,200 feet using 12 gauge wire, and that is wow. excellent. Um, with the node, you go up to 100 feet using 18 gauge wire, and that is enough, um, enough distance to um, get, get uh, whatever you have uh, uh, irrigated efficiently. So if you had multiple valve boxes that were spread out, you don't necessarily have to have one node in each box. You could have a multi-station node that runs to each valve box. Exactly, within 100 okay. feet, or if you want to go larger properties, you can get the XC Hybrid, and you can go further uh, valve, valve distances as well. And how many stations can we go up to in the XC Hybrid? Yeah, for the XC Hybrid, plastic or stainless, uh, they go up to 12. They're in a 6 or 12 uh, um, enclosure configuration, and then the node goes up to 6 uh, stations. Okay, and another question our customers might have is maintenance. What kind of maintenance do these, do these need, and do you need to replace the solar panel ever? Yeah, so solar panel arrays, they actually last for up to maybe 20, 25 years. The solar charger battery pack will need to be replaced uh, about every five to 10 years, but you just need to test that um, as well. And for the batteries, those need to be replaced periodically, so maybe a year, maybe two years. So for our, our friends Caltrans, they love the solar panel XC hybrid because they don't have enough time, they don't have the staff on hand to go manage all the battery controllers, you know, out on the highways, the freeways, stuff like that like that. Um, so they love the solar panel um, configuration. They, they install it once. They don't get to that site in three, four years. They know that it's still irrigating. Um, also, too, vandalism is always a key out here, high transit uh, population. The solar panel is uh, sn fit snug on the enclosure, uh, um, military-grade adhesive on there, so it's hard to uh, knock that uh, solar panel off. And then we also have the door that's not on here, but we uh, have a 751 key but that's also customizable. So you have four keys in the Hunter catalog where you can change uh, the key lock out and that is an, an added val value for vandalism prevention. Okay, perfect. And you had just mentioned uh, that our friends at Caltrans are using it, but uh, a lot of times in counties, cities with regulations, they require you to have a rain sensor built into the controller. So. That's one of those things that we really see that the specifiers are gonna need, and when you're talking to the specifiers, they're gonna ask you that. So we, we did touch on the fact that it can support those things. So this is a great option if you don't have power in a location. Even if it's a larger uh, situation setup, you could still use this as a, a, a compatible option when you don't have that power and still meet some of those requirements that the city or state is putting on you. Yeah, and you don't, you don't have to lose the job. You don't have to avoid putting in vegetation or turf like that. Uh, we do at Hunter Industries have an option for everything. Even if you do have AC power uh, later down the line, the, for the XE Hybrid solely, this has tw uh, two 24 volt terminals. You can get the X Core wall ward adapter and hook this up to the 24 volt terminals. The power becomes an option later. But uh, speaking to that rain sensor, what you said, we do have the rain sensor compatibility. So you're shutting the controller off when w uh, weather conditions dictate. So that's why you need it. Okay. And one of the things that is always asked questions come up and people are saying hey I gotta install this valve am I gonna have to come in later if I'm just temporarily using a solar powered or a battery powered clock and change the valves out because it's you know, one valve for DC and one valve for AC. Can you explain how that works a little bit? Yeah, for, and that's great. So again, our engineering teams are forward thinking. They always have the best solutions possible for the industry. And we take the same solenoid off the valve that's DC and you replace the AC solenoid in that valve bonnet and everything works the same. And that's hooked up to an AC controller. So all you're doing is removing the solenoid that's DC, put in the AC solenoid, switch out your controller and you're irrigating the same day. Okay, awesome. And then, I mean, I'm looking at this controller and I'm thinking, man, that's stainless steel. It's got to be expensive. Uh, what is the cost on these things? Are they really expensive? What you would expect? So, uh, like, like I said, I did mention our friends at Caltrans or Spec. You know, this is like a Spec controller. We have the node here that seems advanced, a lot of different features. These are the most affordable um, uh, controllers in the industry right now solar power, battery power. How, whatever you think, the stainless pole, like you mentioned, the accessory, all affordable, all in one solution, and, uh, it's, and it's also easy to install. So we've got low maintenance, we've got affordable, we've got 
the ability to have sensors built into it and on that maintenance point, we don't have to visit the site every year to replace the batteries because we have these rechargeable batteries with the solar panel. So it's kind of almost a set it and forget it and put it on your calendar to come back in a few years. Yeah. So that's awesome. Thank you so much for sharing all this information with us about solar power controllers today. I really appreciate you stopping by and we'll see you guys next time on CounterBuzz. <laughs>